Welcome to Which Way Nigeria. Now, will it be alarming to say our nation is gone and what we currently have is simply fellow Nigerians realizing that and using politics as a pathway to feast off its carcass? Will it be insane to say that most of those currently in positions of power are simply there to take as much of the dying body of what used to be a great nation? No. Now, it might sound a bit scary and maybe really pessimistic, but in reality, it isn't far from truth. Look across the country. And of course, can you see, feel, or sense anybody who is truly trying to get us out of this mess in any part, space of government that you can imagine this morning? Is there anyone that you have in mind that you can say, yes, this person is truly trying to get Nigeria out of the mess that it currently is? I'm certain that your answer is no. Right from Aso Rock to the smallest local government offices, Nigeria as a nation is seemingly seen as a tool of enrichment. When campaign slogans simply say, Milokon, it's my turn, that's a very clear sign that personal fulfill fulfillment is all that matters at this point. And a lot of people use the same campaign slogan, even if they didn't voice it, but they took it in searching for their political you know, aspirations. Nigeria is dying and they are simply feeding off its dying body. There's not one person in government today that inspires hope. There's not one person in government today that inspires the possibility of a better life for roughly 200 million people. Your National Assembly, your state governors, your judiciary, even your presidency. There's nobody in those spaces that makes you feel different. Nigeria is dying and they are gleefully feeding off its dying body. Let's take a moment to look at some of the factors that define a failing state and see if any of these may sound you know, familiar. Political instability, economic decline, social unrest, security issues, corruption, human rights abuses, faltering infrastructure, high levels of debt, and maybe even refugee, refugee crisis. There's none of these issues that we aren't currently dealing with here in Nigeria. But then put that side by side with the actions of the people in power. The president is currently on holiday in France. State governors are fighting themselves and, of course, their godfathers. The judiciary is currently with its lowest confidence ratings across Nigeria. Again, Nigeria is dying and they are simply feeding off its dying body. Again, I ask, when is Mr. President going to return and start being president? When is the National Assembly going to start speaking for and maybe addressing the concerns of the people? Nigerians, a big question for you is, is this what you voted for? When, I mean, when you stood in the rain and in the sun to get your voter's card, when you stood in rain and sun and went through all the violence that came with the elections, is this what you voted for? When is the last time you saw anyone in government say something that you believed in? In today's Nigeria, when is the last time that you heard anything in the news that made you excited about your country? Look across the papers this morning. When is the last time you saw a happy story about Nigeria? Again, Nigeria is dying and they are simply feeding off its dying body. There's people today in government that fought against all odds to ensure that they got those positions. They threw parties when they got appointed into those offices. You remember some of those video clips. But it wasn't because of the happiness to serve our great nation. It wasn't because of their hunger to give and sacrifice for the growth of our country. It was because they saw an opportunity to finally have access to power and the benefits that come with it. Again, Nigeria is dying and they are simply feeding off its dying body. There was a time people had honor and dignity and a name to protect. There was a time when our nation compared growth statistics with countries and other countries here in the continent and of course beyond. There was a time when analysts placed us among countries to watch out for in the coming years. Today we have back-to-back -back people who fail woefully as ministers and governors and feel zero remorse, mostly because they never had any interest in fixing anything. Political appointments are simply, you know, their turn to enjoy the benefits of access to the national cake. Nigeria is dying. And we plead this morning, we beg, that those who currently have those positions, so please remember that the nation may have been set back 20 years economically by the previous government, but for those who survived, they may not be able to survive, survive another eight years of stagnation. Good morning, Nigerians. Thank you.